Fuller. So I'm really happy to see him. He's kind of just parked himself now into the grass. He's right on the edge of the boundary and he was going towards the boundary. And I thought maybe we weren't going to get here in time, but he's decided just to lie down in the nice thick grass. Now you can't see that it's him just yet, but you can see that the ears are very, very tatty. So already we know that this is an older leopard. You can see there the little nick side of the ears. And for those of you who know Mvula, you'll know that he has on the left side, he's got those two sort of cuts out and on the right he's got that V. So it is definitely him. I've also seen him standing up and, and looking at me, so I know it's him for sure. But isn't this amazing to see him? He's such a beautiful leopard. And even though he's getting old and he's starting to lose a bit of his sort of condition and he's no longer this territorial male, he is still an absolutely beautiful animal and his condition like I say is actually really good considering his age he's doing really well at the moment but isn't this amazing what a way to break our leopard drought with Mvula of all the leopards that I would have thought we would have broken our sort of leopard drought with it definitely would not have been Mvula I would have thought maybe Tingana or the Royals but to have him around is really quite special Bradley, you're know, wondering how many leopards occupy the reserves. Well, it depends on, on what reserves we're talking about. If we're talking about just the Sabi Sands, at the moment, I think there's about 160 leopards within the Sabi Sands system. And if we talk about the Sabi Sands system and we include Mala Mala in that, we're looking at about 64,000 hectares or 128,000 acres. Or we can round it to 130,000 acres. So it's quite a sort of big area, and that's a very, very high density for that size of terrain. Now the Sabi Sands Game Reserve has got one of the highest densities in the world. There are two other places with very high densities. The one is Sri Lanka, Yala's National Park, and well Yala National Park in Sri Lanka should I say, and the other one is the Lo um, South Luangwe in Zambia. So both of those have quite high densities. Um, here in Juma and where we traverse, we have at the moment, I counted them the other day, I think I got to 16 or 17 um, that we are seeing in this area. So quite a few now the thing is with Mvula is because he's gotten older, he's no longer territorial, so he's now just nomadic, and we find him in the most random places walking around. You can see he's having a bit of a nap now. I think maybe the only reason he was moving is because of the sort of vehicles finding him. It often happens with a leopard. Once he, they get found, they move a little bit, and then they realize, well, I've been found now, and then lie down. Now, of all the males out here, he's probably one of the most relaxed, so we don't have to worry about him running. But the question then begs, which was the other leopard that Taylor saw? Because Taylor said she saw a young leopard who was quite skittish. Now you can see Mvula is not skittish at all. He's lying very close to us, completely unperturbed by my voice and talking. So I wonder if there's not another male somewhere here that maybe was chasing after Mvula or there was some sort of competition between them. I didn't see tracks for another one, but it just seems like it would be very difficult to mistake this for a young leopard. Ah, Megan from Louisiana, This you say this is your first leopard on Safari Live? Well, Megan, isn't it special? Aren't they the most beautiful animal that you've ever seen with those spotted coats? There really is something about a leopard. I hope that he's going to give us a really good show this afternoon and that you'll enjoy the sighting as much as I am currently. They really are my favorite animal. So I'm hoping that he's definitely going to get up and we can show you the real beauty and power of a male leopard. Now He is fast asleep and we're going to sit and spend quite a bit of time with him this afternoon as much as we can. So I think let's go across to Byron and see if his lions are matching Mvula in the sleeping contest or whether they're being a little bit more active. Well Tristan, they they seem to be matching, but 